right, for rows, this first one is a one-arm uh, dumbbell row. So what you do is you grab the dumbbell, one knee's on the bench, one hand's on it, and then another leg is planted on the floor. So you stretch your shoulder out real far at the bottom, squeeze the shoulder blade together, and then raise the elbow. It goes above parallel to the floor, so get it real high. You might have to pull the dumbbell out around you a little bit, which is good. This is the chest supported dumbbell row. The only difference is, is you're laying on a bench at about a 45 or a 30 degree angle with your feet planted. The shoulders still stretch all the way out, squeeze them together and raise up nice and high. You can also do this with a barbell. Uh, same thing, squeezing the shoulder blades together and then raising the elbows. It's got a little bit of arch in its upper back too, which is good. You can also do a reverse grip where you grab the bar underhand like a curl and same thing squeezing the shoulders together and then raising the elbows till the bar goes all the way up and hits the bench. This one's a low cable row. What you do is just take a seat on the ground and you got the cable real low and then this one's with independent handles. You, you can also do it with non-independent handles, a hammer grip or a bar. What you do is you squeeze your shoulder blades together first and then pull the elbows all the way back. You want to keep the movement of your body to minimal, but a little bit is okay. This shows the back, how you want to squeeze the shoulder blades together. Squeeze them together as much as you can and get back as far as possible. This last one is a one-arm cable row. This one's great because you can go at different cable heights and get different variations, but again, just stretch the shoulder out all the way at the bottom squeeze the shoulder blade to the spine and then pull the elbow up. 